Hi, I'm Edie Kay, motivational speaker, trainer, and life coach, and I am dedicated to helping individuals reach their fullest potential and live their best life. When I work with clients in my coaching programs, one of the main areas of focus in the methodology that I use in terms of personal growth and change is the area of their environment. Environment in terms of the people and things you surround yourselves with on a daily basis. So in today's video, I want to share with you a little bit of the strategy that I use with individuals that I work with in terms of optimizing your environment. I do this not only because it's my own belief that environment plays a huge role in terms of our life success and happiness, but it is a principle adopted by some of the most successful and happy people I know. Self-made millionaire and successful author Jim Rohn once said, you are an average of the five people that you spend the most time with. This quote is one of the reasons so many of us parents are incredibly cautious with the individuals and groups, peer groups, that our kids hang out with. We're also very careful about the movies and the TV shows our children watch and the messages that they're getting from the people in those things as well. Yet, as adults, we don't take as much care in screening our own environment or the messages that we allow to pour over ourselves on a daily basis. Now, if your life and your level of success and happiness is exactly where you want it to be right now, then I would say there's no need for you to take a look at your environment and things can stay the same because it's obviously working for you. But if it's not, then I challenge you this week to take notice and take inventory even of the people and things that you are surrounding yourself with on a daily basis and pay special attention to the people and things that you're spending the most time with. And then write it down even for a bigger impact. Write down your list of the things that are in the people that are in your environment. And then ask yourself, what's the dominant message in each one of these individual pieces in my environment? And then determine if that message is going to help you get closer to where you want to go. Is it going to promote you getting more towards where you want to go? Is it going to hold you back from getting there? There's all kinds of messages in our world that are constantly telling us we're not good enough, we can't do it, it's not going to work out, the economy is bad, chances are you won't succeed. These are the kind of messages that can sabotage you and your success and it becomes the environmental influence that you don't want. The next step is to write down all the messages you want to receive, all the messages you know are going to push you closer to getting what it is that you want. So if those messages are, I can do it, I am good enough, I am capable, keep trying, don't give up. If those are the types of messages you know that you want into your environment, then determine where you can go to be exposed to those messages more. Whether that's books, whether that's articles, whether that's seminars, whether that's a coach, whether that's a mentor, there's all kinds of places, especially on the internet, where you can immerse yourself into those kinds of messages that are going to promote you moving forward in your life instead of holding you back. Doing this is going to optimize your environment so that your environment is working for you instead of against you. Now, does this mean that it's going to guarantee success? Or does it mean if you don't make, make any changes to your environment that you're doomed to fail? Absolutely not. People do it all the time. But think about this. If you were going to set an intention to get really serious about your health and fitness and to drop down to that, that weight that you want or that pant size or dress size that you want and to be really diligent about putting healthy things in your body, and that was your goal, and that's something that you really wanted, how hard would that be to achieve that if your house and your cupboards were filled with Twinkies and cookies and potato chips and ice cream and chocolate, and all of your closest friends and family members would discourage you every time you wanted to go to the gym or work out because they would tell you it was a waste of time and you're just going to fail. Does it mean you can't achieve those health and fitness goals anyway? No, it doesn't. But if you were to remove 
all of the junk out of your house and if you were to surround yourself by people who wanted you to succeed and people who wanted to uplift you, give you positive messages, tell you that you can do it, not let you quit when you wanted to quit, chances are you're going to reach that health and fitness goal much quicker, much faster than if you made no changes to your environment. So I'm certainly not telling you to go out and start cutting people out of your life because they're negative and they tend to talk about the, the bad things in life instead of the good things in life. That's the last thing I'm telling you to do. I have a lot of people in my life, but the people that I spend the most time with are people who are happy, who are funny, who are positive, who don't mind saying they're sorry or that they're wrong when they make a mistake, or who aren't afraid to say that they don't know something, but who are anxious to learn more, be better, do bigger, and who are having a really good time. Now don't get discouraged if you're in a place where you're surrounded by people who, out of love, want to keep you safe by telling you you can't, or it's not likely, or you are not ready, or it's too hard. Don't be discouraged because we're in a really cool place and time where you have access to all kinds of resources which you can immerse yourself in which will give you different messages. Books are an incredible resource and I have found over the last several years that books have really become some of my closest friends and biggest teachers. If you liked this video, please share it with somebody else. Again, I can tell you for sure that I would not be where I am today if people had not shared this kind of information with me. So pay it forward and share this video with somebody you care about or several somebodies that you care about. And if you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel so that you can get notice of weekly videos when they're released, then hit the subscribe button. Uh, go to YouTube if you're not already on YouTube through this link. Hit the just subscribe button in the upper part of the page and you'll get notice of any time I release a new video. And also you can come on over to edk.com where you can sign up to get email updates as well by entering your name and email address and you'll get notified obviously of videos but any other content that I put on my website as well as notices of upcoming coaching programs or live events. I hope you have an awesome week and I will talk to you next time.